So, I thought that I would do a video on unpacking my bike. This is a Dekine uh, travel bag for mountain bikes. It is designed to fit um, full suspension mountain bikes up to 29 inch wheels or plus size tires, as it says. And it does actually fit uh, 29 inch wheels. So my bike is a YT Jeffsy 2022. Uh, it's a 29er and it's a size large. So um, it's not it's not a very small bike. The Jeffsy frame is kind of a bigger frame. It's it's a little bit longer. So. I just kind of zipped that up just so you could see it, but I already pulled the wheel out. This wheel here slaps in right here. Um, and you just, you can see the blue buckle goes to blue buckle and vice versa. Green goes to green back there. So you unclip those, this pulls out. And then you have the bike. So, um let's see just so that you can kind of see how it's designed um i already undid this buckle but this is a security security buckle to hold the fork down um this kind of so the fork kind of just sits in the sleeve and then this rolls up and over the frame and buckles in um and then this is mounted to the bottom, so this whole part is fixed down to the um, the hard plastic at the bottom of this bag. And then um, this is kind of a neat little. Basically, I just pull the just pull the bars off of the stem, um, and then strap it in here, and uh, that's all you really need to do up there. Um, I wouldn't take the stem off of the steer tube so you don't have to mess with all that. Just take the bars off the stem. That's a lot easier. Then this little sleeve goes over the frame to hold the bars and that part's good to go. And then, um, let's see, over here, this is the derailleur that you have to pull off to get it to fit. Um, these red straps just uh, just hold this this thing down. There's like a foam cutout or something right here for the the rear of this bike to just sit on. And this bag is not specific for this bike. Just to clarify, it goes for really for any bike that fits those parameters. Um, I like to put spacers for my my brake pads so that in case this gets pressed, I don't have overextended uh, pistons on my brakes when I uh, unpack this bike. Um, so one of the bigger things that might be helpful to notice or to realize, my my bike is about 32, 33 pounds, something like that. And this bag is um, about 17, 18 pounds. And I fly Delta. And so if it's under 50 pounds, for me, it flies for free. If it's over 50 pounds, then it's, you know, $100 plus of a uh, penalty to, for it to fly. So if I can get this bike to be under 50 pounds, then it flies for free, just as a regular check bag, which is huge. Uh, you know, um, flying this bag wherever I want is amazing. Right now I'm in, right now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, just hanging out here, but, um, okay. So where was that? Um, what I, the first time what I did was I pulled the seat post out and I pulled the pedals off cause you have to pull the pedals off for this thing to fit. Um, and then maybe some other things. It was like grips and I don't know. It was a pain in the butt. The first time I took all this, you know, what I thought would be somewhat heavy things uh, off of the bike to try and shed some weight and get it under that 50 pounds so it would fly for free. 
and it was fine but you know it was just a lot of little stuff like the dropper seat post is kind of a pain in the ass to to clip back in place um on that little cable you got to fish the you know the cable housing through and the cable through so you can get that clip on it's not that big of a deal but uh, i think i found an easier way so what i did is i just took the um the cranks off so that's one bolt well if you have sram um dub what's it called dub let's see let me see here yeah if you have sram dub it's one bolt you uh you undo that one bolt and pull this off the side pull the other side off and this right here is about oh i don't know i bet it's like three pounds just that right there and the other thing i pull off is the chain uh, i happen to have one of these lovely little chain tools which makes it so much easier to actually pull your chain off and pop it back on so for me pulling the chain got the chain right there pulling the chain off and the cranks was the only thing i had to do to shed weight to get this thing down under uh i don't know how many how many pounds but once it's in the bag and all that this was at exactly 50 pounds with my helmet in the bag i had my helmet my gloves and glasses and stuff in the bag as well so as it is um it was a really good i think a really good setup to try and get it under that weight limit so it flies for free because i'm not going to pay 150 dollars to fly my bike unless i'm going to new zealand or something so um i'll show you real quick how this how this breaks down and comes out so these so like i said the derailleur is is right in here um these buckles are just mounted to the floor. So these buckles come off. Now this is free. You can just lift that out. This part I'll leave on until I have it, um, you know, out here for a minute. And honestly, this part I'll probably just leave on too. So. I'll just unbuckle this back side that's buckling this down to the ground. And then I can just lift this out. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah all right okay so now that that's out um let's see so really you just flip this open this this like i said it's just sleeved down into the fork so yeah you slip that off you pull the handlebars off throw that back in the stem and then just reassemble your bike and it's good to go the uh the wheel setup so this is the one of the wheels it slides oops it slides in here um they have these fantastic um little pockets for the for the disc brakes um i i've flown with this bike three times three or four times now and i've never had any damage um the the disc rotors have always been straight i've never noticed any you know legitimate um bends uh in those from you know from flight damage or anything like that um so the disc rotors stay quite safe i'm not worried about those at all the other thing is this big pad right here um it's very thick and so your hub you don't need to worry about your hub poking through this plastic and rubbing against your frame because this pad right here it's soft and it's a very durable um like uh, you know denier 
uh, canvas or fabric of some sort. It's just like this material, basically. So you put that wheel in first, then you then you throw your bike in there, mount that all in, uh, buckle it all in place, and then you sandwich your bike in with your next wheel, which then just gets pushed up against the frame of your bike. Um, another important thing is that the hub, you can see the hub is about right here on this wheel. It's about the same place on the, the next wheel as you sandwich your bike in place. And on my frame, it does not push up against my frame. The hub, the hub area of this outside wheel pushes right about here um, into open space. Um, plus, with all that extra padding, you really don't need to worry about your your wheel hubs uh, or any parts of your wheel rubbing on your frame and giving it damage. I mean, we can give it a that that was there before. Quick look over on my bike. There's really nothing going on here. Um, I don't see any any new damage. This bike is awesome, by the way. I've loved it. Okay, well. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to say. Um, if you guys can think of anything else that you have any questions, uh, drop a comment, let me know. But that's, that, I think that's all I got.